What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to talk about setting up the TaskBot mobile app. So first we're going to open up TaskBot on our computer. And we're going to log in through our Gmail account. And I have two-factor th turned on, so give me a second. Should be all good. All right, so first thing we want to do is go in and create a task. I'm going to use a test profile. Uh, do easy supply task with a hat from season six. So I'll go ahead and save that. And as you can see, we now have a easy supply task. Um, what we want to do is come up here to mobile app, click send captures to iPhone. And then in FAQ, you'll see here that we have the URL for the mobile app. So now we're going to go to our phone, open up that link, and download the mobile app. So let me grab this guy. Let's open up Safari. And this is the page that you'll go to once you go to that link. So we're going to click Download and Install. And as you can see, it's installing now. Before we can open it, we have to go into Settings, go to General, scroll down to Profiles and Device Management, and we're going to click on the Above AI, comma, LLC. We're going to Trust Above AI, and now we can go ahead and open up TaskBot. We're going to sign in with the same account that we use to sign in on our Mac. So let me do that real quick. And once you sign in with that initial Gmail account, it will bring you to this page. This is for CAPTCHA. So sign in again, same Gmail account. And it's going to ask me for two-factor again. And there we go. So this is the main page that you'll see on the TaskBot mobile app. As you can see, we have a captures window. Uh, we have a checkouts window, which will show you if you do have any successful checkouts. And then we have a start and stop all. Um, that's to start and stop our tasks, shut down, and log out. Um, so obviously what you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is set up all your tasks and get them ready. Leave Taskbot open, obviously. Um, and then we're gonna come onto our mobile phone and click start all. And then as you can see over here, it's gonna try and check out that hat that I have added. So there we go, picked up hat, getting product info. Um, if you do get a captcha, it's gonna open up in this captcha window and you can solve it from there and it, it will send all that through. Uh, let's stop this just because I don't need it going any further. Um, so this is a really convenient feature to have, especially if you know you're going to be out and about during a big release. Um, you can set up all your tasks and be able to start them right when the certain product drops. Um, I've used this before successfully, I believe on a kith drop back in the fall for, I don't know if it was the Belugas or the Blue Tints, but I was able to leave things running and solve captures for my phone when I was out at lunch. So give it a try. Um, let me know if you guys have any success with it. It's just one of those convenience factors that is nice to have when you're going to be away from your computer, but you really don't want to miss something. Um, also, I just started a TaskBot Discord of my own like yesterday. Um, the previous one got deleted because there were so many issues with members kind of acting out. So I'll leave that link in the description below just so you guys can get in there. It's meant to be extremely informative. Um, I have no affiliation with TaskBot or the developers. It's really just kind of me helping people out, um, kind of like what I do with these videos. So 
if you want to stop in, say, hey, ask a question, um, I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Um, we have a good group of moderators and support guys as well. So, yeah. Other than that, have a good one and good luck with the uh, TaskBot mobile app.